pretty huge update to my collection over the weekend. Grabbed quite a few games. Um, I wouldn't exactly say, okay, not over the weekend, but over the past week. These are some of the things I picked up. Um, starting just recently, I found <laughs> this tonight. I found the original Game Boy, and uh, this is the one I grew up with, and I just couldn't resist it. It was at a Goodwill for two bucks, and as you see it, works just fine. No vertical lines or anything. Probably gonna have to get around to backlighting that thing. That'd be pretty freaking sweet. So I picked that up today, and also today at the uh, Goodwill, picked up a Columns box for the Sega Genesis. Haven't gotten around to playing this, but it is uh, complete for two bucks, so that wasn't too bad. And uh, see, the other day ago, went to the local play and trade, picked up Rampage for the Master System for it was pretty cheap. Um, don't own a Master System, but I got a friend who does, so I'm gonna have to grab it off him. Um, been looking at it for quite a while now and it uh, uh, looks like a cool system to me. I uh, never owned one but I definitely want to try it out. And uh, also went to uh, Naperville, picked up a few games. I got Life Force for the NES. Uh, never played it before but it was made by Konami and uh, I know Konami makes uh, Contra and I always love the Contra and um, this is Obviously, there's nothing like Contra. It kind of has like the same sort of label art to it, but uh, it's kind of like a shoot 'em up. Uh, it's an okay game. It's it's pretty confusing, I guess, just to me. Uh, you only got like a couple lives, and, and the game gets you, the game isn't very really long. I mean, I mean, especially if you're not good at the shoot 'em ups. But uh, yeah, played some of that. That was only a couple dollars, so I figured I'd try it out. And uh, also for the NES, got a classic. Gold Cart Legend of Zelda. I uh, didn't own this, just had to pick this up. Paid a little bit more than I should have for it, but as you can see, it's not in bad condition. It's got a couple scratches here and there, but nothing too bad, especially for something that old. So, wouldn't pick that thing up. And then at the uh, disc replay, I picked up Virtual Racing for the 32X, and just recently got a 32X, so I figured why not try this, especially for how cheap it was. So. Pick that up too. It's an okay game. It's, it's in, the physics in the game are impossible. Like you take turns at like 300 miles per hour. Or, I'm sorry, 300 kilometers per hour. So uh, 180 miles per hour or so. But I mean, it's an okay game. It, it's pretty fun. Um, don't own too many 32x's, but figured I might as well pick that up too. Um, also from uh, Goodwill, I actually got Grand Theft Auto 3. Everything in the box, even the poster. Good condition, uh, not too bad, but I got that for a couple bucks, so might as well. And then for the uh, second, the GameCube got Super Monkey Ball. Um, not a huge fan of the Monkey Ball series, but my girlfriend is, so I picked it up for her and she seems to enjoy it, so got that. And for Nintendo 64, sadly, I only got one cartridge, but I got Arrow Fight. Arrow Fighters Assault, um, just got Arrow Fighters actually for the Neo Geo MVS, can't include it in this video, but got Arrow Fighters 2, so I, must, so I thought to myself, might as well try the one on the 64, um, nothing like the Neo Geo games, but it was only a couple dollars, so I figured might as well try it, you know, it's, I like, I like playing games, so to me it's not terrible, but to the general public, game would probably be atrocious, so Unless you only found it for a couple dollars, I wouldn't really recommend it. But yeah, I got that. And then for the Genesis, I got Ghostbusters. Um, pretty neat game. I actually like it a lot. Um, definitely not like any other Ghostbusters a game I've played before. But I uh, saw a couple uh, reviews online on this, but definitely picked this up for a good price. And then Classic Arcade Outrun for the Genesis. Um, Definitely like the newer outruns with the better graphics, but um, definitely couldn't resist this classic, so I got that for a couple bucks. And here's what I would call my gemstone, because I just freaking love this game as a kid. I got Sonic CD for the Sega CD, and uh, came complete with everything. And the case is actually not cracked off, so it's actually like probably my best uh, Sonic CD game. But uh, yeah, I paid like 10 bucks for this, so... I didn't care. I just wanted it. I freaking love the music from that game, so I got that. And then, as 
you can see, I got a ton of games. I got these all spread out everywhere. But I was at Plan Trade and I saw some Turbo Graphics games. And guess what? I picked them up, of course. So <laughs> I got Alien Crush for the Turbo Graphics. I mean, these games are in awesome condition. They were only like five bucks a piece. I mean, they come with everything. So I was like, screw it. I'm picking these up. I don't give a shit if I don't have a Turbo Graphics. But now I do. So, and I also got Bravo Man complete, you know, cue card and everything, and played these games, and they're, they're definitely weird, never owned, owned a Turbo Graphics, but found one off eBay for like 40 bucks complete, so, with a controller and everything, so, I also picked up Vigilante, I haven't played this game yet, but saw a couple of reviews, um, yeah, but all together, I gotta say, I'm liking the Turbo Graphics a lot, and then for the last the collection, I was on Naperville Yard Sales, and Happened to see this little sucker. Saw a Menacer. Um, didn't come with the scope, but came with everything. I don't have the little wireless box thing here, but yeah, as you can see, it's in pretty good condition. I mean, it, it looks like it's trying to yellow out, or I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but it's looking like it's yellowing a little bit. But uh, yeah, no, it looks, it works good, other than it's got a couple crack clips for the scope, but I don't really give a shit. It was only 15 bucks, and these things go for like, I don't know, 30 45 dollars online, but Pick that up with the game and everything, and I gotta say it's not the coolest thing in the world, but definitely gotta get Terminator 2 for that and try it out instead of the crappy game it comes with. Cause the only thing about this is the Toe Jam and Earl thing you got on that. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's all I got for this weekend. Oh wait, no, I'm forgetting some other games. What the hell am I talking about? Anyways, forget what I just said. Cause I got. Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars for the Super Nintendo. I don't know why I could have forgotten that. Uh, paid actually uh, 15 bucks for this game uh, at a play and trade, but uh, this is a good deal, so I picked it up. I didn't have it. Um, label's not in that great a condition, but nonetheless, had to add it to my collection. And then the last thing I have to show you, because I don't think I'm missing anything else, is I actually didn't pick this up, but... Uh, this is a little reprint I did over the weekend. I thought it turned out pretty damn good, to say so myself. Did a little photoshopping skills, but uh, yeah, it's Super Mario All-Stars and Super Mario World. Picked this up a while ago, just when...